EasyRobot.com Personal Robotics for everyone. Hey there, I'm DJ Shirts. Well, since I've attached servos to this guy's arms, they're the heavy-duty servos, the metal ones that can do like four kilograms or something. Um, it's been taking a lot of current from the voltage regulators, so they've gotten really hot. So what I've done, I'll show you this, is I have added a fan to the top of the, uh, the heat sinks for the voltage regulators on the EZB. And to do that, it's a plus five fan from a uh, power supply or CPU or whatever from a computer. And this plug here is the plug that came with the fan. I just hooked it up to the plus five on the board. And I've used a zip tie and attached it to the heat sink. And it's spinning and it's keeping those voltage regulators cool. The parts that you're gonna need is a five volt CPU fan, the EZB, and two little twist eyes. For tools, you're gonna need a pair of pliers, cutters, and a little tiny flat head screwdriver. So we're going to want the fan to sit on top of the heat sinks like this. So I would use a, uh, a twist tie through these little grooves here to hold it in place. Now the grooves are going to be a little too small at first, so you're not going to be able to fit your twist tie inside across the whole way. What I've had to do is take a little flathead screwdriver and pry them up just a tiny little bit. And that should give you enough room to be able to slide your zip tie right in there. Then take your heat sink, throw that on top, there it is. I mean it isn't the prettiest thing in the world but it definitely keeps your voltage regulators cool. Now for power, it's got a little plug on it, of course red is positive, black is negative. Let's plug it someplace inside the board and uh, I'm going to put mine right here. There we go. You're not going to want to power this anymore by this little guy because that's not going to cut it. So if you get yourself a bigger battery, or in this case I'm using one of our uh, power adapters. So when I plug this in, give her some juice. And there our fan starts spinning. And I've been able to say, like I said, I've drawn a lot, quite a bit of current out of this, uh, this setup like this running with Omnibot's arms and haven't had any issues.